the custom room having a lot of customizations or basically you can say a lot of very useful features is once again back with another new update and yes you are right we are talking about project matrix and with this new update we have a lot of new changes available there it's been some time when i last made a video on project matrix that was having april security patch and after may security patch we got two new updates one of the major updates is this one because if you move on to the play integrity which is one of the main highlights of using a custom room right now it's now fixed from the past few days if you are into android community from some time things were changed play integrity was dead in a lot of custom rooms but we have some new methods available with the new updates of a lot of custom rooms are now providing you this new fix where you will see it will meet the basic integrity and device integrity so that you will be able to use banking apps on your custom room and this could be passed once again but for now it's working so check out the new update as soon as possible secondly it also brings you the depth wallpaper as you can see from the thumbnail right now depth wallpaper is already integrated with project matrix 2 it was already available in rising OS. it was also available in i guess um in other custom rooms too so yes this thing is now becoming quite common and uh, you have the setup guide available there and you can also check out my previous video on rising OS where i've shown you that how you can install depth wallpaper and very very easily you can get this on other devices too or without installing this custom room with the help of iconify you just need root and then you will be able to set it up and i made a video dedicated video on iconify this feature on my other channel so check that too increase ring volume is a new feature which is present in this new update i guess it was already available previously but because it was mentioned in the change log so i just wanted to let you know i'm not exactly sure how many of you actually use this feature because it's present there so i just wanted to let you know also with this new update we have a lot of new icon packs available in weather it's not a system icon pack it's weather icon pack which means you can see condition icon pack the home screen you're able to notice here if you have sunny weather then you have these kind of icons available if i choose this one you can see the icon is a bit changed here you can choose between a lot of icon pack options available we have google icon pack marshmallow uh, a lot of custom rooms provide you three or four around five to six styles but in this case we have a lot of extra options available there so yes it's totally up to you if you want to use this thing or not by any chance if you don't use this simply skip this thing this thing is of no use of you for you weather client and of course a lot more things so yes these things are super good here and also because we are talking about these condition icon packs uh, from the home screen let's take a quick look at the launcher here launcher as expectedly is a bit different you can say because it's matrix launcher so the recent panel is one of the main highlights a lot of users look forward to the recent panel the recent panel has some quick actions already available clear all button and a lot more things and including this the recent panel is quite smooth the custom room is based on cr droid and having a lot of customizations or you can say upgraded version of cr droid it's matrix launcher which is having all the useful customizations what you were looking forward to some icon pack customizations hidden and protected apps so that you will be able to use hide apps feature and also the app locker in build although app locker is already available in the settings app itself but because it's present in the default launcher so just wanted to let you know else we have similar kind of things available in the terms of customizations most of the customizations most of the useful features are present here all the spoofing options what you were looking forward to hiding the developer status from the particular app that option is also present here all the swipe to screenshot options not advanced screenshot options present yet and user interface also have the option for the settings app customization so if you enable this feature settings home page widgets the settings ui will be redesigned to this one by default it's not like this if you if you like this one you can try it out from settings if you don't like it this is not enabled by default you can simply disable this thing also lock screen have the custom clock styles already available if you enable the ios style lock screen then you will only get the ios style clock not the widgets which you get in rising OS. but if you use any other clock styles 
there are many options available for you so yes these are the things available there it already brings you all the features what you were looking forward to i don't think so um, i like we do not have any useful feature missing from it, this update i guess most of the features are present here as i just mentioned at some seconds ago regarding the app locker it's present there uh, you are not actually into the launcher you don't need to use a launcher for app locker so this is it thanks for watching we'll see you in the next one take care